Hi Virgo, welcome to your past life karmic lesson. I'm sorry about the video. Um, I did not notice that there's not that much sound because I forgot to set the default mic for my camera. And when I noticed that the uploaded video doesn't really have that much sound, so it's like, you know, like a whistling kitten in the background or in the... Uh, you know, in the, the video, so I had to delete it, and then I need to redo the reading. So let's take a look, Virgo. What are the things that you still need to fulfill from your past life, the, the unfinished businesses, the lessons that you need to learn, and the things that you need to finish off this present life, okay? Some people don't really believe in past life, but you know what? The things that are actually happening in our lives right now... The people, the karmic cycle, the, the life path, the journey that we need to make. It, it, it has all something to do with their past lives. With, you know, sometimes some people are also... Sometimes they were, well, you know, they, uh, they're used to be like an animal or like a tree or like a bug. You know, so not all people are born as a human. All right. Sometimes it's because of uh, whatever you have done in the past. There are some curses and there are some, uh, you know, malevolent occurrences that our souls had to go through in order for us to, uh, what do you call this, in order for us to uh, learn our lessons. Mm, karmic lesson, imprisonment, and slavery, and leaving and travel. Or leaving your travel. Alright. <clears throat> but let's pull out more. You know, you were actually, you're, you're very smart. Okay, in fact, that you're one of the advanced people, or you're one of the advanced population in this room. Okay, before. Now, the lessons and blessings from your past life down to this present life, those are the things that you need to pick up from, and those, and there are some things that you need to apply in your present life. Now, you lived in a very simple family, but you do well. Okay, you're from an above average family because, in fact, that you were born within a barn, okay, or inside a barn, but and you grew up in a because you grew up close to animals, to the nature. You appreciate the simplicity of life, but of course the com the comfortability as well. Okay, you were also um, you have a talent in healing people, and healing um, healing animals as well. You do have that healing touch. Every time that people just talk to you, they they feel so comfortable, and they are even comfortable in telling you some confidential stuff. Okay, but because you're a very good listener. You know how to, you have a very warm touch, okay? That's why people find it very hospitable around you, or be, or just being with you. They love the, they love your company, okay? And you were also a writer. I feel like you're into poetry, uh, writing short stories or um, some prose, okay? And you love traveling. You're a globe trotter, and uh, the thing here is, I feel like. You do have some problems being a mother, or you do have some issues with your mother before, okay? Now, I feel like some Virgos find it hard to conceive. Some Virgos, okay? I'm not saying that all, because there are some Virgos who's got a lot of kids. But there, but in this, with the Virgo that I am um, describing right now, you do have some problems being a mother, or it's like you're, you're having a hard time conceiving, okay? You're now ready, you're now ready to, I'm sorry, there are a lot of disturbances. Um, okay, you're now ready to have a family, and uh, hmm. you know, just, you know, as a segue, because uh, with the new house that we moved in, there are some spirits here and sometimes when i'm reading cards they tend to you know get my attention or they tend to go around me that's why i'm sometimes i get a little bit distracted but anyway okay 
um now that you're ready to have a family and you're you know you're you're actually you love kids okay you're very fond of uh uh younger kids infants and you it's like now you're now ready to have a family of your own but now you're having a hard time having this kind of life because in your past life you've had two but then the problem here is something happened when somebody left you or you left somebody because you lived both as a man and a woman in your life and during the time that you were a guy you left your wife along with your two kids and when you were a mother you left your home okay along with your two kids now is uh and you have lived five or seven lives or five or seven stages of past lives already and this present life is not included okay and you're very religious okay you have very strong faith you were also uh, you were also raised with much fear you know with god and uh i feel like your family is that's the one who's very sacrilegious or something like that or they were born christians now in your first life you left your family just to look for let's say just to look for an opportunity because you need to make a living you live in a very far place and the city is also very far from you that you need to travel now you met somebody okay you met somebody while you're still let's say in a marriage or in a relationship because as I've said that you left your home along with your two kids and with your family and you left somebody now this is not actually recognized by law during that time and i'm not really sure where the uh what uh in which country you're in but in that country that you were uh that you lived before the kind of love that you have is forbidden okay so you were enslaved but you made vows or you made a promise to that person that you're going to be coming back not to mention that you also made promises to your kids or to your family that you're also going to be coming back so there are two things or there are two promises that you need to fulfill okay now and i feel like when you also travel back this is because you've had a very rough living You've gone through a lot of difficulties, dire kind of living, and I feel like you never really made it back to the uh, to the life that you used to have, okay, where you were really raised and born to. And your love life right now is the one that is making you suffer, giving you a lot of difficulties, blockages, delays. You feel like you're you're lost. You, you sometimes you feel like you're not really, you know. Sometimes you're not really, um, uh, what do you call this, like in tune with the world that you're in. Sometimes you feel like you're, it's like you're here, physically you're here in this world, but your heart and soul and mind is, it's like in, it's in another dimension or another place. It is because that your soul is still longing to finish off whatever it is that you need to finish off from your past life. But this is your present life. So physically, and your soul is not really synchronized. That's why you are divided into two. Okay? Most of the Virgos right now who's having a lot of hard time with their relationships, it is because that your heart and soul and mind are not synchronized. So you need to look back. You need to go back to your past life in order for you to know what is that promise that you have made to those people who counted on you for you to go back but you never really made it back i'm not saying that you're not able or you're not capable of keeping your words or promises but it seems like there are some circumstances that have already blocked you from going back there and you did not really fulfill your mission so it's a mission fail all right so right now that the reason why you're having a lot of hard time going through your marriage or relationship or commitment or finding somebody that really counts it is because of your past life unfinished businesses and you also have a karmic relationship with somebody that you feel so stuck to okay so and for some virgos if you can if you're having a hard time conceiving or you 
you know, or you're having a hard time becoming a mother, it is because that you have abandoned your kids in your past life. Okay? Just for you to find an opportunity. Which is, it's not because that you went for somebody. It is because that you need to make a living. A decent kind of living. You're a very hardworking person. You know how it is to work hard. You know how it is to handle money. You know how it is to, you know, to be responsible, support your family, and be there for a family member. But when it comes to you, that, you know, that when you needed somebody to be there for you, to listen to you, nobody's available. In fact, that they only love you during the fun times or during the good times. But, it, but when it comes to the bad, you know, to the bad times or down times, nobody's home. Okay, heart to heart conversations. You deserve love. Give your relationship a chance. Unrequited love. This is the thing that you've been always suffering from. True love, romantic feelings, let go of control issues. And one more thing. You usually desire for a relationship or for somebody, but once that, that person is already in your life, right in the middle of it, you back off or you bail out. Okay, or it's like you're looking for something that isn't there. It is because of your fear. Okay? Now, you need to learn how to communicate. You need to learn how to express yourself. You need to learn, like, this is how we should do it. No, don't do that. I'm not changing you. But, you know, if you're going to continue being like that, then this is what's going to happen to us. You need to be a little bit more diplomatic and be good with how you deliver your, with your words instead of acting like, you know, sometimes you're being like an like, like a prick or you're going to act like a child and uh, you're just going to be a pain in the ass, you know? Nothing will ever be resolved if you're going to be acting like that. You need to learn how to act like an adult and you need to learn how to communicate. You know, that sometimes, you know what, I'm so offended with how you, with what you have said. And if the other person is also a prick and, or will they will just revoke your, you know, whatever it is that you're telling them, then keep silent, back off, and don't say anything anymore. Because you're, you, you cannot win with somebody who's very childish and close-minded and they only listen to whatever they wanted to listen. Okay, so, so you deserve love. This is where the self-love coming in, okay? You need to love yourself, <clears throat> but in a relationship that you have, don't push people away. You need to give them a chance to be in your life. That's why you always suffer from an unrequited love or you are the one who's giving them the unrequited love because there is a part of you that you cannot give to a relationship or to a particular person in your life, okay? That is the, um, that is what usually, you know, keep on rolling and cycling in your life. So, the reason why you cannot give yourself, the reason why you're so afraid to trust, the reason why you don't want to, you know, it's like you're self-sabotaging most of the time. You love somebody, you know how to love someone unconditionally. You're, you're a big giver, okay? You're very generous and gallant. But um, right in the middle of it, when, the, when you feel like, ah, oh, it's really boring, you know, it's not like what I think it is, you know, then you're going to slowly back off and then move away. But when it comes to career, I feel like, you know, it, it, you know, it's actually not really a problem for you to go and find a job. There are some times of your down moments, but that is, you know, the reason why you cannot get accepted in a particular job is because that you're not really designed for that. There is something better and something bigger that awaits you. You just need to open up your eyes. Now, and... You've already found your true love, and this is the one that you're that you feel like this is your real soulmate. And oh, the karmic relationship, and the calling out your soulmate actually fell right after one another. But I feel like this person is from another place. Okay. Now this person that actually lives far from you. You've already met this. You've already been together, but you pushed this person away because of your fears in the past. 
okay? And you feel so stuck with the memories of this person or with the person that you have pushed away and you live with so much regret and resentment that, oh my God, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done this. I should have done that, you know? Um, I feel like this person is only like trains away, not really planes away, but, uh, or there is a certain distance, okay?